The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm going to do a sea trial and features inspection of the all-new R317 from Roballo. Now, the design team at Roballo tell me that they made this to be a spacious cruising boat for a lot of friends and family, a capable fishing platform, and include a nod towards overnighting. So let's go over the general layout first, and we'll see how she handles crowds. This large dual console has particularly comfortable seating forward, 31-inch wide helmet companion seats, two L-shaped cockpit seats, a 4-foot 10-inch wide transom cockpit seat backed with an aft-facing one to use while at anchor. We start with a spacious bow that can seat plenty of people. We can either sit lounging to port or seated with our feet on the deck to starboard. The seats include flip-down armrests. And just look at the quality of this table. Four stainless steel drink holders, a Corian insert, and it's self-draining. A cooler is located fully forward and the hatch is held in position with tension hinges. 4 foot 3 inch freeboard at the bow translates into deep interiors measured here at the bow at 34 inches, 20 inches from the top of the seats alone. These bolsters that wrap around the bow, widest we've seen starting at 11 inches and increasing to 13 inches fully forward. The cockpit space is probably where the bulk of our gathering will take place and with 25 square feet of open deck space there are no worries about crowds being on board. As for seating, we measured 21 inches between the forward seats. Those dual L-shaped seats are ahead of a comfortable three across bench seat to both the inside of the cockpit and across the swim platform. The cockpit table is a welcome addition. Under the port side seat is a 36 quart igloo cooler and this ties into the storage that is seemingly everywhere in the cockpit. There's drawer storage under the aft seats, more under the three forward seats and in the sole storage compartment there's storage within storage. 40 inches of freeboard at the stern makes for 29 inch cockpit depth to keep everyone secure. The engines are mounted to brackets, which eliminates the need for an engine well, which gives us more room in the swim platform. The wraparound platform extends 3 feet 4 inches out from the transom on each side, providing space to launch water sports or on which to work light tackle fish. To starboard is a 4 step reboarding ladder. To port in the bulkhead is a freshwater shower wand. To the port side, we have a hull side door that serves multiple functions as a dive door, a boarding gate, opens easily. Notice that it goes into a recessed position so that it doesn't take up cockpit space. And the upper cap, there's a grab handle and it closes against a piece of king starboard so that when we have it laid down, it doesn't pinch our fingers. But the most unusual aspect of the Roballo R317 dual console is what the builder calls its vista view seating. This multi-use seating complex actually has five distinct functions and is electrically actuated. In addition to the forward and aft facing bench seats, it can also be a forward or aft facing chaise lounge or a completely flat sun pad measuring 7 feet by 4 feet 10 inches. The seat back can be raised to any position desired and lock in place. At the port console we've got a pronounced comfort level with an armrest both high and low. The seat is wide and it includes a single flip up bolster and notice that there's a cutout so we can also swing our legs around and face the crowd. As for her overnighting capabilities, take a look in here. There's interior space that measures 6 feet 6 inches in length, 35 inches wide at the aft end and 14 inches at the forward end. So for a couple looking for a place to crash for the night, it's workable. More likely, this space however will be used for added storage because it can hold tons of gear. And that being the case, teak flooring can replace the mattress. Look at these supports. Two and a quarter inches here, three inches here. And look at the varying geometry of the aft supports. Fully forward, we've got electronics boxes to both port and starboard. I like the lift and lock latches and the tension hinges. For dimensions, we measured nine feet, 10 inches by nine feet with an extendable sure shade awning going another six feet, four inches. We've got a Clarion stereo with a head unit at the helm and in the cockpit, plus it's connected to the upgraded wet sound system that includes six speakers, a subwoofer, and overhead, the wet sounds sound bar. And there are two color courtesy lights. We have an optional grill on a pedestal, and I like this scenario so much better than a built-in grill because once that gets rusted out, it's kind of a permanent fixture in the boat. Plus, we're not gonna get smoke underneath the hardtop by having it here. In the bow, behind the forward-facing seat is a door that opens to the head. Inside, there's four feet of overhead space, three feet of it is sitting headroom. An opening port light provides light and ventilation. The stainless steel sink has a pull-out sprayer. The counter is Corian. The electric flush porcelain toilet is standard. Flooring is teak. Now let's take a look at the fishing features. 
In the port quarter, we have a 25 gallon live well, adjustable pressure on the aeration, interior lighting, clear lid that's gasketed all the way around. The drink holders are integrated with rod holders. We have additional three rod holders going up the port side, repeated to the opposite side. There's rod storage under the gunnels and locked up inside the cabin. Again, high freeboard translates into 29 inches of cockpit space. Bolsters start at 21 and come up to 28 inches. Tow rails below add even more safety. That dive door can also haul in a huge catch and we can stash it in the four foot eight inch aft fish box. It's insulated and self-draining. Spreader lights are at the back of the hardtop so we can fish well into the dark. And the overhead is pre-rigged for outriggers. The helm console beautifully laid out starts with a compass center mounted on top of a soft touch dash. An acrylic panel houses push button switches that are lighted when activated. A center panel that can house either a single 12 inch or in this case, a 16 inch display. Just below, we've got a stereo remote, the ignitions. The wheel is mounted to a tilt base to the right hand side. Lemco trim tabs with LED indicators to the sides. The Yamaha engine display, cell phone holder, the Optimus joystick, and just alongside, connectivity for USB, MP3, and an accessory plug, and the digital engine shifts are just behind. And we actually have a trifecta of armrests to the side. The helm seat is certainly wide enough at 31 inches and includes the same features we saw to the port seat. We've got a windshield wiper, a sizable windshield, and it's stainless steel framed. The nav lights are separated on either side of the hatch with a lift and lock latch that opens to conceal the Lumar windlass. There's a safety catch to hold the chain in place. The anchor runs through the stem and it's a polished stainless steel anchor. A cleat is just alongside for securing the road and taking the load off of the windlass. There's a wrench for manually operating the windlass. Freshwater washdown is at the aft bulkhead and the control switches are just alongside. Six inch pull up cleats are cast with the Rabalo logo at the top. Battery switches are right at the boarding location at the swim platform on the starboard side bulwarks. A mechanical room at the aft end of the cockpit had the house and engine start batteries, steering pumps and bilge pumps, plus the dual 130 gallon fuel tanks. Now let's take a look at the test numbers and see how she handles. The Robalo R317 has a length of 31 feet, a beam of 10 feet 6 inches and a draft of 21 inches. With an empty weight of 9,050 pounds, 60% fuel and 3 people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 10,422 pounds. With a pair of Yamaha 300 horsepower four strokes turning 19T 15 and a quarter props spooled up to 5960 RPM, the top speed was found to be 55.4 miles per hour. Best Cruise came in at 3500 RPM where she went 30.6 miles per hour, burned 16.9 gallons per hour, getting 1.8 miles per gallon for a range of 422 statute miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 260 gallon total fuel capacity. Her time to plane was recorded at 4.2 seconds, accelerating to 20 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds and to 30 miles per hour in 8.4 seconds. Overall, we found the new Rabalo R317 dual console to be a lot of boat for both family cruising, water sports, entertaining and fishing. She's full of design innovations and well equipped to standard. And that's our look at the Rabalo R317 dual console. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.